The Secrets for Beautiful Shoes. Every work of art is an expression of love, care and technical ability. Our shoes, made with craft skills and painstaking attention to detail, are authentic masterpieces of the shoemaker's art, and that's why they should be looked after so carefully. Just follow a few simple rules and you can keep our shoes in outstanding condition, the way they were conceived, designed and created to be. Here then are a few tips for the correct maintenance of your Santoni footwear. Always use the highest quality products. The leather used for your shoes needs to be treated with polish to nourish it and slow down the aging process. A polish with high wax content, used in small amounts but frequently, is an indispensable part of the perfect shoe maintenance program. Never use water repellent products as they can have an adverse effect on the color of hand-aged leather uppers. The best polishes are those that are closest in color to the upper, no more than one shade lighter. Never use a darker polish. Neutral polish can be used occasionally and only for cleaning. It can cause the color to fade and encourage splits. After cleaning the uppers carefully, apply the polish with a cloth, allowing it to dry for several minutes. Then buff using a soft brush, horsehair is best. The shoe trees can be left in. Only a brush with brass bristles should be used on suede footwear. Spots can be removed with a para rubber brush. Suede shoes can be worn in the rain. They handle it very well. Never ever use self-shine liquids. They're fast but can cause damage. Or metal brushes, which raise the nap much too high. It's also best to avoid drying your shoes with a direct source of heat, as this can dehydrate the leather and cause cracks. Every other part of the shoe made of leather, 
the sole and welt should also be treated with polish to ensure a longer life. It's also a good idea to insert cedar wood shoe trees as they help the lining to dry and mold the upper perfectly. Hand-aged products may show slight differences in shade between one shoe and another. This is because the same leather may not always absorb the same amount during the treatments applied for the various aging processes.